So, students, we are now on our third video of cost measurement. Okay, so let's review. Okay, what have we learned? That uh, cost al allocation has no uh, different purposes. And what have we discussed in terms of the purpose of allocation that it provides information uh, to facilitate economic decisions okay and why have we mentioned uh, variances responsibility accounting this is to motivate no? your managers and your employees no and also the first one that we um, discuss is for us to be able to justify cost no especially when there is a need for us to measure income to measure assets no at uh, in, in meeting the 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 external uh, demand you know, with the, the, the regulatory and the legal reporting obligations and, and also uh, there is a need for us to uh, calculate for uh, let's say if there are employees who would actually be uh, reimbursing right? oh, yeah. and uh, I've asked about cost pool previously and what is our cost pool this is the grouping of individual cost item kasi ipupul mo nga eh so grouping yan okay and what is uh, a cost allocation base this would be what you will choose uh, as your basis no? in order for you to uh, accumulate costs and ano ang sabi sa atin that uh, costing systems no? in, in, in organization have what multiple cost object and these different cost objects which may either be services customers uh, department uh, at certain an item of individual cost can be allocated and reallocated no? before becoming an indirect cost of a specific cost object madami siyang pinagdadaanan diba? And uh, the use or the purpose is for us to be able to uh, choose an appropriate cost allocation base that can uh, somehow reflect no, uh, a relevant and a reliable cost information. Kasi kung, kung yung inappropriate yung cost allocation base mo class, nako. Eh, yung products mo can be manufactured less efficiently. And, and so, yung efficiency magkakaroon ng question. Kasi, you base your decision on cost. Remember, cost is a factor that you are, no, as a decision maker, uh, it is a controllable factor. Considering the five factors affecting profit. Diba? Mm. So, uh, bakit? Bakit, bakit uh, magkakaroon ng uh, uh, less efficiency? Tapos, bakit magkakaroon ng misfocus? Diba? Ang uh, decision maker. Or, ba't magkakaroon ng misprice? Eh, kasi pwedeng yung pag-allocate pag mo, kaya nga natin pag-uusapan yung activity-based. Kaya nga nagkaroon ng activity-based costing class. Eh, kasi ang purpose mo ay... Uh, yung yung product cost mo 
be able to reflect the true cause. Diba? Kaya yun. O eh, kung ang, ang costing pool mo at yung cost allocation base mo ay inappropriate, definitely, mamimiss focus ka, mamimiss price ka, at less efficient ka. Kasi, yung pinoprovide sa yun na, na cost information, hindi siya reflective of of the nature of the activity that you are exposed to. Okay? And, uh, pwede kasing ang gamitin nating rate, no? Yun yung huling pinag-usapan natin, eh. Eh, pwedeng single rate, okay? O, pwede naman ding, uh, dual rate. Pag, pag sinabing single rate, pwede yung isipin parang blanket blanket method siya, parang ganun. Uh, bakit, bakit blanket? Eh, di ba pag blanket, kinocover ka niya? O, di, yun. No? So, ito, yung single rate, pwede mong isipin blanket rate. Yun, di ba kasi yun yung tawag niya? Blanket rate. So, anong importansya nito? Uh, natutunan natin na uh, we, we really need to distinguish diba? yung reason of allocation. Na, nag-umpisa sa dalawa hanggang sa naging apat. Ano yan? Cause and effect. And then, itong arbitrary. O, oh, kaya nyo nang isulat yung dito. Matatlo. Ano to? Benefits. Fair. O ano pa yung isa? Kaya nyo ilagay. Tumama kayo sa na-recall nyo. Ability to bear. Ano ba? Mm. Benefits, fairness, justice, ability to bear. Mas madali to BFB. Mm. So, after you were able to distinguish, then, uh, ito kasi yung magbibay, ito yung pag- ito kasi yung, ayan, o, oh, siya ang class, siya ang pagbabasihan kasi ng allocation base mo. Okay? Kaya ako binalik sa inyo. O. Oh. Ngayon, o oh, di alam mo na yung allocation base, ano marirealize mo? That there will be different cost information. Ano narealize mo? for different cost purposes or for different hindi pa natin ko ginamit yung cost purposes mo there will be different cost information for different purposes dahil kaya tayo nag-aassign anong sabi natin kanina for external purposes to na lang muna para dali and for internal purposes for external kasi for financial accounting and for internal this will be for strategic cost management. Because we need, but the common for this too would be, there is a need for us to measure uh, inventory. Diba? And then later on, we will be uh, allocating into, well, yung nga lang pag for external, ina-allocate mo into manufacturing and non-manufacturing based on function. And the decision on the cost system is based on what? No? It will it will differ in terms of the level of sophistication. Okay? Ma'am, ano yung mo sabihin ng level of sophistication? Ay, depende kung yung system mo ay simple ba? O medyo complex? Eh, bakit ma'am? Eh, eh, kasi diba sa atin, merong small and medium enterprises, tapos meron kang yung katulad ng San Miguel, katulad ng, ng Rubina, eh, they are a conglomerate o di complex yung, ano nila, yung, yung kanilang uh, information system uh, activities. So, definitely, uh, the choice of the costing system will be affected by the level of sophistication of the uh, activities of the organization. And besides, 
the more sophisticated the systems are, the higher the cost to operate. Diba? And pag complex, mas ang ginagamit natin dito yung cost and effect. Kasi pag, pag highly sophisticated, ay naku, kailangan para mas madali mong ma-justify, di ba? Di cost and effect ang gagamitin mo. In order for you to generate re report no, a more accurate cost information. O, ganun yan, ha? Yan. And, 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 and so, lower ang cost of error mo dyan. Kapag, ka, syempre, ang ginamit mo, cost and effect basis. Okay? And, sometimes, uh, kasi di ba kanina, pinag-usapan natin, are we going to use a two-stage? Kasi, pwede kasing two stages ang allocation nyo class eh. Pag, pagka, sinabi nyo plant-wide, or blanket rate, or single rate, eh, first stage lang yon ng allocation, no? And, remember, pag cause and effect, ano na to? Driver na to, class. Mas, mas may effect dyan ang driver, cost driver. So, yung, pag, pagka highly sophisticated, then, uh, marami kang, ano, marami kang, uh, you have, you have, uh, uh, you use many first stage cost rule and you use different types of of uh, yeah, cost pools and you use uh, different types of driver. Kaya, hmm, nagkakaroon uli tayo na, didiscuss natin talaga din uli, uli, yung cost object sa cost driver kasi madami pa din sa inyong nalilito doon. Okay. Lalo na sa cost object. So, anong, anong magiging sa ano yung masasabi natin sa costing system or sa cost system, ano yung optimal? O, di yun. Kasi, class, napaka-importante ng pagpili ng costing system. Ano yung optimal na costing system? Eh, normally, it is pa rin a balance between benefits versus cost. Even if it is the best, al alimbawa, uh, ano pwede nating example dito? Security. Halimbawa na lang ha, sa security. Meron kang pag-aari na na uh, um, grocery store. Maraming way para ma-secure mo yung, yung filter adjust. Yung, halimbawa yung may mga kumukuha ng, ng produkto mo, hindi nagbabayad. O let's say, ang, ang nawawala sa'yo, ang loss mo, dahil dun sa mga kumukuha ng mga grocery, ay halagang 100,000, then dapat, yung best system mo is would not go beyond the 100,000. Ano yung mga option mo? Pwedeng ang gamitin mo, bawat aisle, lagyan mo ng security guard or yung magbabantay. Pwede rin namang, uh, halimbawa, pag ginamit mo yon, ang, ang gagastusin mo dun, mga 70,000, yung may magbabantay, no? may security uh, personnel. O kaya, mag-install ka pa ng uh, maraming camera. Diba? Eh, ang gagastusin mo doon, 100,000. O kaya naman, a combination, no? Ng security at saka ng camera. Ang gagamitin mo doon, 150,000. Eh, pinakamaganda, combination ng security at camera. Pero, class, pag tinignan mo naman yung, yung cost nito of implementing the new system, ano pipiliin mo? De, ito na lang, ano, 70,000, no? Kasi, ang maximum benefit lang na makukuha mo, ay yung what you have lost, which is 100,000. Ito kasi yung loss due to, uh, hindi, hindi nababayaran, dahil, doon sa mga, uh, kum, alam mo yun, nagpapalusot. Oh. E di, ito na yun, di ba? Ito yung best case scenario. Kahit na, mas magandang i-combine may camera at ano, eh, eh, yung gagasos mo naman para makuha mo, para ma mawala ito o ma-minimize yung 100,000, 150. Okay? So, yun yung sinasabi, class, na balancing between benefit and cost. Because a simplistic costing system will be appropriate with, no? This will be appropriate to organization 
whose indirect cause is of low percentage. No? So, pag low ang percentage ng uh, indirect cause sa product mo and a fairly standardized standardized Yan. Yung product range mo, no? And it is all consuming your resources in similar proportion. Then, yun ang gagamitin natin. So, uh, ano yung simplistic? Eh, pwede mo gamitin yan yung single rate lang. Kailan to? Low percentage ang indirect cost. Uh, yung fairly fairly standardized yung product range mo tapos uh, yung pag-consume mo ng organizational resources is uh, in similar proportion kasi pag pag hindi ito yung nature class then then it would be the other way around Diba siya, pag, pag alam mo na yung isa, de, yun na yun, dalawa lang naman pagpipilian yung class, naku, pinahihirapan yung sarili nyo, diba? O, simple o hindi simple. <laughs> alam nyo na may sitwasyon, pagka yung condition para siya ay masabing simple. Kaya pag, pag high proportion ng indirect cost, kapag ka, ang product mo ay uh, indifferent proportion ng consumption ng resources, eh, siyempre, gagamitin mo na sophisticated costing system. Okay? Uh, although, pag sophisticated costing system kasi under these circumstances, you could be able to uh, report uh, a more accurate cost. Kasi anong ginagamit natin pag sophisticated? Cost and effect. Diba? Yan. So, you choose between simplistic and sophisticated. And, and, and most often than that, ang challenge kasi pag sa product cost would be your overhead. No? Yung pag, at saka yung pag-assign uh, ng service department ko sa product. Kasi nakinabang naman yung produkto do sa service department. Eh, mama, ano ba yung mga sample ng service department? Nako, yung mga makina mo ba? Walang magme-maintain nun. O, service department yun. Eh, kaya lang yung service department na to, eh, nakikinabang din naman yung hindi, hindi nagpo-produce. Yung nandun sa, sa selling area, gano'n, nasa, o, oh, kaya yun. Kaya, you, you need to, to really, uh, somehow, allocate. Diba? So, ano ang, uh, in, in, in uh, closing, ano ang uh, masasabi natin? That, uh, allocation, no? is really crucial for us to have what? Uh, crucial ang cost allocation as part of pro, co, uh, cost measurement and, and uh, cost allocation is part of cost assignment diba? based dun sa drawing natin na drawing na tayo. And uh, what I would like you to include here as our uh, experience point would be uh, kasi pinag-usapan natin yung service department cost allocation, yung tatlo. Tapos, we talk about uh, common cost. No? E kaya lang, yung joint cost, ano nga ba ito? Iba ang joint cost, eh, uh, two or more products are benefited uh, from a common input. Diba? O e, eh, paano natin ma-approximate yung benefit nung dalawang product? Ito yung input, may lumabas na product 1, tapos may lumabas na product 2. O ano ang pwede nyo gamitin dyan na method? Diba? Okay, so, that's your experience point. So, thank you very much for listening. No? Uh, we'll have uh, our next video which would relate to the costing methods. This is our discussion, the last video for costing system. 
Okay, thank you and keep safe.